Welcome to our last River Knits studio session. Yeah. Yeah. It's the last, the last one. one of the year. So, question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you finished your secret Santa? The majority <laughs> <laughs> is done. I just, um, I crafted something and um, I dropped a couple of stitches, which I have to ladder up. But otherwise, I mean, the items are finished. And um, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, straight back to me. <laughs> so some drop stitches that need securing. Yeah, otherwise tiny the... detail. <laughs> details. Details, details. Details. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was on the sock machine, wasn't it? Like, mm. And um, yeah, I was did... not very experienced and with attention and uh, yeah. But I don't think it's a big problem. I, I will saw them in and you can't see it from the inside. Uh, do, you can do a bit of Swiss darning yeah. on it. and uh, Swiss darning, whatever that is. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> uh, it's a darning technique that um, looks like knitting. Yeah. It, or duplicate stitch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so... Um, YouTube then for me. Yeah. Well, no, I know how to do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe we could make that the subject of a future episode. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Anyway. So, and you? And me? <laughs> Coming. I've finished mine. Oh, you finished. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I see well, I might need to weave in the ends, but... Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's blocked. Yeah, and it looks fabulous. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah. I really hope it fits my recipient. I think it will, yeah. They are um, a different shape and size to me. Mm. Um, so I haven't been able to try it on to check because mm -hmm. it wouldn't tell me anything useful. No. <laughs> well, I think it, it looks really nice and yeah. it will fit. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So you, you've done so, yeah, our I mean, it, Secret Santa. Yeah, done which is, ish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we wrap some presents today, maybe we could make sure we finished. Those yeah, I think we should then, do that before. And then we can wrap them yeah. up. Yeah. So, and, um, so, did you cast on something new? I may have started a new yeah. project. It's like the knitting season, isn't it? Well, yeah. It's, it's, and, and because I've pretty much finished. Um, yeah. And because and, and it's so cold in here and it took so long for the item to dry yeah, when I, I was, blocked yeah, it, yeah. you know, I couldn't actually finish it. So I, I had will, to I start. Not, I and will, I had to start something I will not new. block my secret Santa present. No. No. Well, no. it doesn't really need no. it. No. But, um, yeah, so I have started no, something new. show it new. off then. Yeah, okay. Where is it? Well, first I'll explain what, um, what the yarn is, because none of it is Rivenet's yarn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so these are some very special skeins that I got at Wonderwall Wales, uh, not this year, but... 1994. <laughs> uh, in 2022. Oh, okay. Um, and they've been sitting winking at me for quite a while. Mm. And it, it's quite hard to find time uh, to work with other people's yarns because yeah. obviously we have to show, well, that is showcase our yarn a lot of the time special yarn isn't it but yeah, yeah so these are some really precious yeah. precious games are you showing them or you're just um... no i'm just i'm just um fondling them inside <laughs> <laughs> i'm fondling my balls um so yeah well the first one is um actually from the us um so the the brand is Middlebrook Fiberworks. I don't know if that's going to show. It's quite faded now. And so this is um, Anne Choi, uh, who keeps a flock of Shetlands mm. in the US. And she had this amazing yarn spun where she's blended the wool with uh, silk fibre. Um, so it probably is not going to show well on camera, but it's got this beautiful pearly sheen to it as well. It um, feels absolutely amazing and, and it's, it's squishy. It's very squishy. Very, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very um, a very plump yarn. Uh, so I actually saw this in person when we went to we went to Rhinebeck mm -hmm. and we went to India Untangled mm -hmm. and Anne was exhibiting there yeah, she was. and she had this yarn and it was my one regret that I didn't purchase it. Oh, at, I remember. At, yeah, do you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, and I dreamed it was about stingy. the yarn. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> I'm just not a big impulse purchase buyer, so I didn't buy it. Um, but I dreamed about this yarn mm. <laughs> ever since. And now you're making something. Yeah, and then yeah. so Anne came to Wonderwall last year. Mm. Um, and she had some of it with her, so I got that. So she wasn't actually exhibiting at Wonderwall, but she was there and I managed to get my hands on some. And um, somebody who was exhibiting was Sinead, who is Gull Rock Fibres, and she does natural dyeing mm -hmm. in absolutely beautiful colours, really, really gorgeous. Um, and so I had been eyeing up a skein mm -hmm. of... Uh, it's this beautiful, beautiful green um, that Sinead had dyed. And I went back later to get it. I, I know, because I wanted to use it with this, with Anne's yarn, yeah, yeah. right? But I had to check the yarn weights were similar enough. And by the time I'd worked that out and gone back to Sinead, that skein was gone. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who yeah. bought it? Do you remember? Katie. Katie Green. <laughs> <laughs> she came to me and she was like, hey, look what I got. And I was like, no. <laughs> always feels bad about it. Katie does not feel no. bad about that. <laughs> right. So, um, anyway, uh, there was another lovely green yarn. It wasn't the original one that but I that wanted. Still nice but it is well, still yeah. lovely. So, uh, this is uh, BFL and Massam wool. Um, and it's... Yeah, gorgeous Fancy. green. Mm -hmm. So I'm using them together in a colour work project, which is going to be quite hard to show at the moment because it's very much in the larval stage. Um, but it's a vest by, um, oh, I'm going to struggle with her name now. You can put it in the comments. Yeah, oh dear, it's just gone out of my head. Um, I'll pop it below uh, what her name is, um, but it's, it's a vest um, with a really interesting construction. So I'll put the pattern name in as well. You can have a little look, but I've just started some colour work. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And it's really nice the way the variegated green is working up. Just adds a little bit of interest. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a leaf pattern, but you can't really, I can't really see it yet. I have to knit a few but more rows. It feels yeah. amazing. And the pattern is asking, so I'm working with DK weight yarn and I'm doing it on three mil needles, <laughs> which I thought was going to be really tight, but it actually feels how it feels. Yeah, it feels good, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. And it makes the colour work look quite crisp, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so. So, yeah. That's my. Um, Christmas knitting, Christmas. Yeah, my winter, my betwixtmas yeah. uh, project, and we'll see. I thought I would get on a bit quicker with, but I just haven't. I think with everything going all on, the just and all the... yeah, all the other things that I've been yeah. doing. So anyway, so that's what I'm working on. How mm. about you? Well, I noticed that Bryn hasn't got a shawl, so a scarf, a scarf. Mm. So I'm making him a simple thing out of then four ply. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to make a simple boomerang, but then Becky came along and made a complicated <laughs> pattern. And now I have to rip it back because obviously you just told me earlier that it's a bit too loose. So we'll pack it back to 3.5, right? Yeah, so it's only 20 rows, so yeah, I, not I will not loads, cry. Yeah. But, but they're yeah. four mil needles. We were just scratching around in the studio for needles, weren't we? And couldn't find. Couldn't find any. But we've definitely got some yeah. smaller, yeah. more appropriately sized so, needles. So yeah, this is. You can just about see the pattern starting to form, but I think when you do it on tighter needles, it'll be more obvious. More crisp. Yeah. But it's a chevron. Um, it's a chevron pattern. Yeah. So that would be nice for him. I have to get on he with it. He chose the colour, didn't he? He chose the colour, yeah. Yeah, he really likes this sort of blue-purple Yeah. at the moment. He's really... Into his blue-purple face. He likes purple, but definitely the blue side yeah. of purple. Yeah. We've had lots Not of... Not the pink side, no. No, we've no. had lots of conversations about how to make that particular sort of purple mm. recently. 
<laughs> so that's what we're up to and that's what will keep us occupied till mm -hmm. the end of the year. Yeah. Um, I thought as it's our last session, we could have a quick reflection on 2023 yeah. and what kind of a year it's been. What do you think? Oh, it's all a bit mixed, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair to some say. Some good things, and then it's like some uh, things. And, yeah. yeah, I think. Um, I don't know actually what to think about it. It's quite hard. I think, um, like, global events have really impacted on well, not just us, but everybody yeah. this year because we've had. Um, like at the beginning of the year, the fuel prices skyrocketed and we've had inflation in the UK that's been really bad. Um, so it's been a difficult year for a lot of people. And of course, it's impacted us personally as well mm. as, as impacting the business. Um, but on the flip side, when stuff like that gets tough, you really, you really lean into the good stuff in yeah. life don't you yeah. so i we've had a wonderful time with friends and family um you know i've really noticed how much of a, a supportive network we've mm. got um around us and um and we've been able to offer support to people as yeah. well it's um so that's been really quite precious mm. um yeah, so it's, it has been a funny old year. It's quite hard. I was looking back um, through our Instagram feed to see kind of what we've been up to. And I can see that I haven't even posted as much on social media as I normally have. And I think it's just because of like everything taking up mm. our energy and our focus. Yeah. Um, but I could see we had um, our open day yeah. in the spring. Yeah, and those cute little signets that are hatched outside the yeah. studio. That was wonderful. Um, I know we had a lovely summer holiday. And um, what else? Oh, we did Wovember. Yeah, the Wovember blog. And um, we did interviews. This, the, live yeah, interviews. new format for Wovember this yeah. year, which I learned loads. That was great. So, oh, yeah, I did the design classes with Natalie Warner mm. so that was a big chunk of uh, learning that I did this year yeah. that just isn't kind of so visible on mm. on our feed of like what we've been up to yeah. but there's the, a lot of things which go lots of unnoticed. things going on yeah. in the background I think yeah. um, it has been a big year for learning yeah. um, and that's definitely going to feed into next year yeah yeah. Um, we also like managed to get some more of our single breed, rare breed yarns. Um, yeah, we've continued those continued lovely these, which projects. Yeah, I mean, that is all good, isn't it? Mm. More next year. Yeah, maybe? we have more coming down the tracks yeah. and um, I've got a new focus uh, for sort of design um stuff like that so i'm really looking forward to coming back in 2024 and getting yeah. stuck in actually we have a lot of plans but when you reflect you think like oh what, what have we been doing but actually we've done quite a lot of work didn't we like in the yeah. background thinking and how mm. to go forward and yeah i feel like we've been really busy this year yeah. it's very hard to put our fingers on what but i think a lot of it has been consolidation background stuff mm. and um that's why there's not like loads for me to see on mm. on the socials but of course as we know that never tells the whole story does it no, no. so um, um yeah but we're here um surrounded by lots of yarn lots of yarn and yeah. color and um really looking forward lots to lots of patterns in front of me yeah yeah um so loads to look forward to in 2024 yeah, yeah. Cool. What else have we been doing? Like you've been busy in a certain church with something very grunt. Do you like to explain? Oh, I could explain, I suppose, yeah. Well, um, we will be finishing uh, up with some music, as we always do. Um, and if you're not a fan of the accordion, you'll be quite pleased to hear that I'm not playing the accordion in, in this one. Indeed. Uh, instead, I'm playing something far louder and grander. Much grander. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, okay, so that requires an explanation. Uh, we recently went to the Chris Dingle service in Weedon, where our studio is based, and uh, we noticed that the hymns were, um, the, the musical accompaniment was actually from recordings, despite there being an organ in the church. What? Hmm. Hmm. You've probably got what's happening now. Oh. <laughs> uh, so we inquired afterwards as to whether the organ is working and if so, why was no one playing it? And it turns out that it is in full working order and it has been well maintained um, and they simply don't have an organist anymore. Um, so I was invited to have a go and mm -hmm. I've been granted access to the church whenever I like to go and play the organ, so... Uh... <laughs> the grand organ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's exactly what I've done. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, no. on Christmas Day, you will play a hymn in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm going to play the first Christmas carol for yeah. their Christmas Day service. So I've been practicing like mad because I've only, by the time I play, I will have been playing for two weeks. Mm. <laughs> um, I've played the piano in the past, so that part isn't particularly new, but um, I don't know if you know, organs have foot pedals as well, which uh, produce the really deep the notes. Um, the ones that make the pews vibrate in they the do. church. They're actually some of the deepest notes you sit there <laughs> and it vibrates, you can really feel it. That yeah. is just the most awesome thing. <laughs> um, Anyway, yes, yeah. so uh, we've got a little Christmassy offering for you. Yeah. Uh, Marcus is playing the violin. I don't know if anybody can hear <laughs> me with my little tiny, wincy <laughs> violin. Um, <laughs> it sounds beautiful. Yeah. It does, and it sounds beautiful in the church as well. Yeah. Uh, so we play an old favourite of ours, which I'm sure we've put on this channel in the in past Christmases, but you but know, never with an organ, <laughs> never with an organ, so that's new. So, Silent Night, and then the second piece that we play is called The Halsey Carol. Um, it was written by a hurdy gurdy player called Nigel Eaton, and somebody has also written words to it, and um, so it can be sung. Um, but we, well, I, well, we weren't up for that, no. so you just, but it's a beautiful melody. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we have for you, um, on violin and organ. And I think that just leaves us to say, yeah. have a very, very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year 2024. And we probably have another episode coming up then in the new year, whenever. I think so. Yeah. yeah have a lovely time, um, with those near and dear to you. Um, thanks for being here. And um, we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.